Hi, my name is Rose. I'm here to talk with you about my carnivore experience. Uh, today is uh, May 29th. Um, my carnivore journey started just at 60 days ago on April 21st. And it's not April 21st, April 1st. And I would have to say that it's been interesting and I feel really good right now. It's the reason that I started with it is because um, my blood sugar levels have not been good for many years. They've not been terrible, but they've not been good because I constantly bounce around between like 5.4 one year, 5.6 the next year, 5.5 the next year, 5.6 the next year, and they never really go down. They just kind of bounce around in that territory. And whenever you get to 5.7, then all of a sudden, that's when your doctor's going to say, oh, you've got prediabetes, which is actually not a thing. You just have diabetes. And so it's not good. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be 5.6. You don't want to be 5.5. You want to be like 5. That would be good. That would be good for me. It would be good for you. So the reason I started was um, blood sugar. And I can look back. I've got my years of blood tests. And if you don't keep your blood tests and have any idea what they say, um, I would encourage you to start keeping your blood tests and requesting copies of them for your doctor. And in videos in the future, we can talk about uh, what those various tests that they give you, because you're paying for them or your insurance company's paying for them. And you ought to know what they're saying. And, you know, you, you ought to know that 5.6 is not good. And just because they don't mention it next year when it's 5.8, then they're going to want to put you on, you know, metformin or some other diabetic medication and talk to you about your diet and stuff. And you need to address that previously. So anyway, so first of all, yes, the reason I did this was because of my blood, my concern about my blood sugar. And the second thing I want to say about that, because I don't want to be, I don't know how to be about this. I've never really had weight as an issue in my life. I've weighed a little bit more than I do now. But I've never been really heavy. I've never had real challenges with my weight. And when people have had that, they don't like to hear from people who have it. But if it reassures you in any way, I have had health challenges. I've had serious health challenges in my life. I've had health challenges that have taken me out of the workforce, okay? I've had things in my life that have you know, influence the way I now relate to the medical system. So it's not like just because I don't have this one issue, I haven't had issues. I've had issues. So know that. And the second thing is, no, there's a thing that the doctors refer to as TOFI, which is T-O-F-I. And what that means is thin on the inside, fat on, oh, excuse me, thin on the outside, and I'm probably a thin on the outside person, fat on the inside. So I have metabolic issues, just like some fat people do. I have it. I have blood sugar issues. You know, I'm concerned about my uh, triglycerides levels not, are not as great as they, they want to be. I, I don't know that my mitochondria are functioning as well as I want. So, you know, just don't, don't look at this and don't think, well, that lady, you know, look at her, look at her at her age, and she's not even heavy. She doesn't know what it's like. I Believe me, I know what it's like to have health issues, okay? I do. And so I, that's why I started carnivore. It's because I don't want to be one of those people who, as I age, gets a new medication every year. It's like a birthday present. Oh, here's your new prescription. No, I don't want to be that person. And if I'm not going to be that person, the way I avoid being that person is I take responsibility for my own health. And I do it seriously. And so this video is part of me doing it seriously and part of me um, requesting that you engage with me. If you're in your 60s and you think, well, maybe I should take myself seriously too. I don't want to have dementia. Sometimes I have trouble sleeping. I have high blood pressure. You know, I've got, you know, my blood sugar actually is not that great. If that's you, then I hope that you will join me and, you know, you'll comment on this video. You'll tell me about your experience um, and, and we can kind of share our experiences and see what is working for us. So for me, since I've been doing this for two months, what has happened is I have lost about 10 pounds. I lost 10 pounds the first month, to tell the truth. Um, and then I gained back two pounds this month. But as I say, since my weight is not an issue, 
I don't care that I gained two pounds this month. It may, it might be all muscle, you know, as far as I know, because I do know what I have done is I've continued to lose inches. And so that's, that'd be great. Uh, as long if I'm, I am, you know, working out at the gym twice a week, 25 minutes of workout, maybe 20, 25 minutes. So I'm not devoting some huge amount of time to being in the gym. I am interested in building muscle and building bone, which we don't have a lot of time when we're in our 60s to start to add those things on. But I am interested in doing that. So, you know, that's what I'm working on right now is to do short periods of, of heavy weights. And then I do extensive amounts of what's called zone two exercises where you can exercise at a level where you can carry on a conversation with somebody while you're exercising. So I go on daily walks anywhere from 30 minutes to a two hour walk. I go before work, I still work full time. So um, I, yeah, I'll go first thing in the morning. And fortunately where I live, we have great places to walk so I can get out in the morning and, and have a really, really nice walk. Uh, also I'm near places to hike. And so on the weekends I, I hike typically somewhere between five and seven miles. It's not a big, long, arduous hike. There's not tons of elevation. It's not going to be like 1600 feet of elevation change. And if you hike a lot, you know what that means. I mean, no, this is more like maybe 700 feet of elevation change, or maybe sometimes just walking along a river. So, um, so that it's, it's, it's walking, it's out of doors, it's absorbing nature, you know, hearing the birds, enjoying the companionship of other people into this sort of activity. It's not strenuous exercise. Um, I don't think we need a lot of strenuous exercise in our life. Maybe a little bit, as I say, I go to the gym twice and do kind of intense heavy weights twice, but for short periods of time. So that's what I'm doing from an exercise. Um, daily zone two exercise as often as I can with other people who enjoy that kind of thing. And then twice a week at the gym. I also do some biking from time to time, from time to time. But again, it's not strenuous biking. It's not endurance biking. It's not long distance biking. It's biking, you know. Mostly we bike along old railroad tracks, so it's a 2% grade. So that's what that is. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the carnivore diet. I've been doing it for, for 60 days. Uh, in another 60 days, I'm going to go back and have my blood work redone and see where I was. Um, I will can discuss my blood work at some point here in the future on this and say what where it was when I had it about 45 days in. Then we'll look again 60 days out and see where it is. And we're going to talk about where I'm going to go from there because... <sighs> Much as I would like to be able to go back to eating my pretty good diet, um, after that period of time, I don't think I can and stay healthy. You know, if it was going to work for me, it would have worked for me over the last five years or over the last seven years or over the last nine years. And the fact of the matter is every year my blood work was just kind of bad, just wasn't good. And so once I get through the 120 day period and I'll be given like weekly updates about where we are and monthly updates, um, then we're gonna have to decide what to do from there. And uh, as a person who has a life, likes to celebrate birthdays, you know, does enjoy the occasional cookie, um, I, I'm not making any commitments that I'm, I'm gonna be strict carnivore for, for here on, from here on out throughout my whole life. I am making a commitment to pay attention to my health, to do those things that sustain my health, to do those things that are enjoyable for me and make me feel good in my body, make me feel good in my spirits, and and to share that information with you because I hope that it will help you just as other people sharing with me has been very helpful to me. Um, and again, you know, for those of you who feel like you, you can't relate because um, I'm not heavy. Well, I'm, I, maybe mine's not the channel for you, so go find another channel. But the other thing, uh, just read, I'm actually, you know, pretty wrinkled. So just know that um, that's real me. It's not altered. It's not, um, I haven't had a lot of, I haven't had any work, work done as it were. This is just me. This is how I work, look as a woman in her 60s. 
uh, who hasn't had any work done. Um, and if you look better and less wrinkled, then that's so great. Good for you, you know. <laughs> Uh, but I don't. So th that's what I'm going to be bringing to this. I'm going to be talking about my experience. Uh, I'm going to be as genuine as I can be about it, as honest as I can be, answer any questions that you might have about it. Uh, and I hope you'll join me again. So I look forward to seeing you again. I'm going to post some links to my Facebook below and uh, please join me on my Facebook. There'll probably be different and more information there. And thanks for, so much for um watching and please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.